Velkomin á rásina mína að læra um íslensku or welcome to my channel, let's learn Icelandic. Uh, the lesson today is pretty straightforward, so even if you don't know any Icelandic, you should be mostly okay. I do recommend though that you check my lesson for the pronouns. I'll put the link in the description because it's useful to know some pronouns, but apart from that you don't really need to know anything. You might have noticed this already, but we haven't tackled a lot of verbs in this course so far. So I think it's time to change that. And I want to get us started with the verbs uh, to love and to hate, or which in Icelandic are af elska and af hata. Af elska and af hata. And I'm going to focus on the simple sentence form uh, I love to shove or I hate to skate so we're going to focus on loving actions in this lesson because if you love uh, if you love people or if you love uh, objects it's more complicated grammatically so let's just start by loving actions and in fact this is fairly easy because the form of the sentence is exactly the same as you have it in English so when you say, I hate to skate in English, we similarly say, Ég hata að skauta. Ég hata að skauta. So the form of the sentence is exactly the same. You start by saying hate or love, and then you put the verb that you're describing, the verb that you either love and hate to do, you just put that right next to it in the dictionary form. So this sentence form is fairly easy, but in order to do this correctly, we first of all need to know some verbs and vocabulary. So I'm going to start to throw that around a little bit, but we also need to be able to conjugate the verbs depending on who is speaking. And the verbs to love and to hate, uh, they are a good place to start because they are very regular and belong to the so-called weak verbs, which are overall more, more easy than the strong verbs. So I think uh, let's just start with those verbs. When I'm talking about myself, uh, then it's very simple. Then the verb actually has the same form as the dictionary form. And then I say, Jeg elska. Jeg elska, and in a similar way, jeg hata. Jeg hata. So when we move over to you, then we simply just add an R at the end, and we say, Þú elskar, Þú elskar, and similarly, Þú hatar, Þú hatar. And finally, when we have the third person and we have either han, hún, haun, fav, basically any, anyone in the third person, then actually it's the same as the second person. So we simply say, han elskar, hún elskar, haun elskar, or fav elskar. And in the same way, han hatar, hún Hatar, haun hatar, and thav hatar. So it's very, very simple. When I'm talking about myself, I just keep the dictionary form. And when it's either you or the third person, it's actually the same. You just add R at the end. Very, very, very easy. So if we start throwing some examples around, I can, for example, say, Ég elska af dansa. En þú elskar að syngja. You can also say uh, hann hatar að hjóla en hann hatar að senda. Or hún elskar að prjóna en það elskar að sofa. Okay. 
So very easy, this is a very easy sentence form and it opens up a new possibility because now you can describe actions that you like to do and actions that you hate to do in a very, very simple way. So all you have to do, if you don't know the verb, you can just Google translate it or look it up in the dictionary because the grammatical form of the sentence is very simple. You just put directly the, direct, the dictionary form and then you have your sentence. Very, very, very easy. Now we move on to the plural, the plural, and let's just start with uh, the verb to love. Let's just start with that one. We say uh, við elskum, við elskum. So perfectly regular, you just remove the last A of the dictionary form. All Icelandic verbs end with an A in the dictionary form. You just remove that and place U-M or um instead and you say við elskum við elskum and in a similar way when i'm talking about you guys then i say þið elskið þið elskið and now i put i and f instead of the a that belong to the dictionary form and then finally in the plural in the third person we say Þeir elska, þær elska, and þau elska. This is a very good rule of thumb that the ver version in the third person plural is almost always the dictionary form. It was not for the verb to be, but almost always uh, this is the case. So you say þeir elska, þær elska, and þau elska. Now let's move on to the verb að hata. Ad hata. And this is almost exactly the same. And the only difference is that we have a small sound change. Okay, we have a small sound change. Those of you who watched my previous lesson, the lesson number 25, you have seen this already. Because a sound change when you have an A and turn it into an Ö is very, very common. And, and this happens very often in the in the first person plural uh, form, then we say with hurtum. With hurtum. So when you have a verb that has an A before the last A, because all the verbs have A in the end, so that doesn't count, but verbs that have A as the last vowel before that, when we're talking about us, when we're talking about the first person, in the plural, I think always, or at least almost always, we have this sound change that A turns into an Ö. A verður Ö. And we say við hötum. But this is the only place where we have this sound change. In the next two conjugations, the verb is perfectly the same as uh, elska. And we say þið hatið þið Hatith. And then finally, þeir hata, þær hata, and þau hata. So in the plural, uh, when we're talking about love, we say við elskum, þið elskið, þeir elska, þær elska, þau elska. And when we're talking about hate, we say við hötum, við Hötum, þið hatið, þeir hata, þær hata, þau hata. So overall that wasn't too horrible, was it? I don't think so. So then we can just very easily, now when we learned this one, we can very easily form new sentences and we can describe all the things that we love and hate to do. And just so I throw something out there, we can say something like, uh, við elskum að spila og við elskum að teikna. The verb að spila means to play and we use it very similarly to, to the verb play in English in the sense that we can play football, we can play sports and these kinds of things. We can also play musical instrument and we can also play cards. So when there comes nothing after at spela and we only say at spela, then it usually always refers to playing cards or playing board games. So if, if we don't specify anything, we assume that this is the kind of play that we like.
we can also say something like uh, Þeir elska að synda en þær uh, hata að synda. Þau, þau elska að borða og þau elska að sofa. To talk more naturally, you don't need to repeat everything and you can simply say Þau elska að borða og sofa. Þau elska að borða og sofa. A couple of more examples and let's try mixing the, the plural and the singular. I could for example say uh, Ég hata að synda og þið hatið líka að synda. Which is not true, I love to swim, but this is a grammar lesson, so let's just go with it. Uh, I could also say, Han elskar ad uh, lappa. Han elskar ad lappa. And hun elskar ad hjóla. Hun elskar ad hjóla. So, basically, it's very easy. And as long as you remember the conjugations of hata and elska, then you can just produce sentences endlessly without almost any effort. If you don't know the verb of the action that you want to, to describe, you can simply look it up at the dictionary, even Google Translate would work, because you don't have to worry about grammar, you just put directly the dictionary version into the sentence and then it works perfectly. So stay tuned for the homework and I'll leave a little bit of a chat at the end to give you some, some more examples of how this is used. Here is a summary of what we learned in this lesson. Press pause and review at your own pace. For the first exercise of today, fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb to love or ad elska, and then we will get different sentences of different people that absolutely love to learn Icelandic. Press pause, take all the time that you need, and now I will give you the answer. Here is the result. Uh, go over it at your own pace by pressing pause, and then we'll move on to the next exercise. Now do the same with the verb uh, to hate. And our phrase is that we all hate to vacuum. Rik means dust and suga comes from sucking. So literally this means dust sucking. Pressed pause, take all the time that you need and now I will give you the answer. And here you have it. Now you can describe uh, the situation where everyone hates to vacuum. The next exercise is a little bit challenging. But I want you to try and translate these sentences over to Icelandic. Remember, mistakes are very much allowed in this course. The important thing is to try. Uh, press pause, take all the time that you need. And now I will give you the result. Here are the phrases. Ég elska að dansa. Þið hatið að synda. Ég elska að hata. Við hötum að hjóla, þeir elska að sofa, and hann hatar að spila. For the final exercise today, I want you to answer the following questions. Hvað elskar þú að gera? And hvað hatar þú að gera? What do you love to do? What do you hate to do? Uh, try to make a couple of phrases to answer these questions. Uh, if you're missing the verb, it's very much allowed to just ask your friend Google or look it up in the dictionary. If you're unsure whether your sentence is correct or not, you can always just leave a comment and I will try to help you along. Ég elska að ferðast og ég elska að hlusta á tónlist. Ég elska sérstaklega mikið að hlusta á kóreska poptónist. Hins vegar þá hata ég að sofa illa og vera kvíðin. Systur mínar 
Þær elska að syngja. Þær elska að syngja og líka að æfa crossfit. Bróðir minn, hann elskar að spila tölvuleiki. Mamma mín, hún elskar að prjóna og líka að syngja eins og systur mínar. Pappi minn, hann elskar mest af öllu að tala um ættfræði. Og við fjölskyldan öll, við elskum að borða lambakjöt. Því íslenska lambakjötið er best í heimi, kalt mat. En þá er það bara að loka spurningi. Kæru neymyndur, hvað elskið þið að gera og hvað hatið þið að gera?